How do you feel about investing new capital with the markets near all-time highs in the U.S.? It depends on how we define the market. Um, are we talking about top 500 companies or over 4,000 listed companies in the U.S.? When we look at S&P 500, which is the index of top 500 companies in the U.S., and compare it to returns that have been generated by broader group of companies represented by Russell 2000 index, so the top 2000 companies in the US, what we have found is that over the last three years, every year, Russell 2000 has been lagging uh, S&P 500 uh, or is not caught, delivered the same kind of re returns as S&P 500, which means that uh, if, you, if one were to broaden their horizon and look around, apart from these top 500 companies, one can find a lot of companies in the U.S. markets which are lucrative, which have good business model, and one can deploy capital there. And that is where we are finding opportunities. Even within the top 500 companies or S&P 500, what we have found is that the rally has been market cap driven. What we mean by that is uh, the top companies that have been doing well are continuing to rise in valuation as well as in stock price. Um, an example of that would be that uh, the top five companies right now in the S&P 500 are over 18% of the index compared to just 14% a couple of years ago. And even though these companies are growing and they deserve to be a bigger part of the index, their profits have not grown or kept pace with uh, the rise in the valuation of these companies. Uh, and hence, even within those 500 companies, we are finding a lot of opportunities wherein people don't want to own anything that is either a workaround situation or facing a temporary issue with their business, which might take a few years to sort out. And we are investing in those companies. Are there any stocks that are a buy now? One of the recent companies that we bought uh, is Booking Holdings. Um, I don't know if you're aware of the company, but here are a few examples. Have you ever booked a dinner reservation using OpenTable? or used Kayak to find a flight or a hotel for your stay, or maybe used Booking.com to just book a hotel for your stay. Uh, if you have used any of these services, and there are many more of these, you are a customer of Booking Holdings. So Booking Holdings, uh, they are the largest online travel agency in the world, and they have a dominant share in the number of bookings that happen across the world, uh, especially in regions in Europe and Asia. And over the last year, what happened is um, people started worrying about the end of economic cycle, recession, which would impact travel. But also uh, people were worried about more competition from Google, as well as some other Chinese players. As a result of this, the stock started trading at valuations, which we felt were really, really compelling. So we looked into booking uh, and we got comfort around their business model, their scale uh, and how they run their business. Based on that analysis, we thought that, you know, the risk reward was, was in our favor and Booking would be able to withstand competition from Google and other players. And in fact, eventually might be a winner over a period of time. Hence, we initiated a position in the stock and we found that the valuation was really compelling. Overall, we hope that as Booking keeps delivering results over a period of time, we would be able to generate a reasonable return from the company and the position.